In this lesson, we will talk about planar and three-dimensional shapes. So here we have some planar shapes, meaning they're just simply flat. This is a semicircle. Okay, it's part of or half of a circle. This is a square, all the sides of the same length. This is a circle, a triangle, and a rectangle. One, light, one side is longer than the other. So those are the, the planar shapes, they're the flat shapes. The three-dimensional shapes that come in, this is a three-dimensional shape with a semicircle. It's got a semicircle with a base on both ends, but as you can see, it is three-dimensional. So we would call this a semicircle prism because it has some, some height to it. So here we have a shape as well, it's three-dimensional. It is a square, each face is a square. We would call this a cube or even a prism, a rectangular or square prism. Here we have this shape. It has a circle for both, both bases, but as you can see, it would roll. Okay. So this we would call a, a circular prism or a cylinder really is what we call this one if it's a circle. Okay. So I'm gonna put this this way, but to keep it from rolling away, I'm gonna put this other prism, this other um, circular prism or cylinder there to keep it there. Here we have a triangle. So here's another triangle and it has actually some rectangular bases and some triangular bases. So this one is called a triangular prism. Okay, I'll set it down. Set it down like that. And this one, as you can see again, it is three-dimensional. It has rectangular bases. This is a rectangular prism. I can set it like that. And in real life, we see some of these things. This you might use um, like a water bottle type shape. Packaging comes in square shapes or cubes. And even a fun ball to play with, this would be a sphere, okay? Also has the circular shape to it. And that's the end of our lesson on planar and three-dimensional shapes.